Also on 7 this morning, hurricanes and wicked weather are things that South Floridians are accustomed to, unfortunately, but some homeowners worry how their homes hold up as a result. FIU is taking action. 7's TJ Parker explains just how they plan to do so. With strong storms only getting stronger and storm surge a threat to coastal communities, Florida International University is once again trying to study the interaction between these storms and infrastructure. We want to understand the interaction of those very strong storms with our built environment. The National Science Foundation awarded FIU's Extreme Events Institute a $12.8 million grant to design a full-scale testing facility capable of producing winds of 200 miles per hour along with a water basin to simulate storm surge and wave action in extreme winds. If we understand that interaction, then we should be able to design better infrastructure, better houses. FIU already has its wall of wind, a large scale hurricane simulator capable of generating 157 mile per hour wind speeds. We have to catch up with nature. Nature's throwing harder events at us. They want to have a facility that would simulate the effects of wind and water together. The team at the Institute says as storms get more intense, the more important it is to understand them to protect communities. If we don't get research and testing ahead of what is coming, we will be playing catch up and you do not want to be playing catch up on a disaster. After the four years and a prototype, they are hopeful to have a blueprint for design on an actual facility. At FIU, I'm TJ Parker, today in Florida.